The um, James Sterling uh, microwave for the archive arrived at the CCA at the end of the 90s. In a moment where the CCA, the Canadian Centre for Architecture, wanted somehow to expand the time frame of, uh, of its collection. There is an idea in the CCA that archives are the working tools for research offered to the community of scholars, specialists and the public so as to reconstruct new narrative, to explore them and to find new uh, interpretations. So the exhibition is a collaboration between CCA and Yale University, where Sterling was a professor. So its first uh, appearance in public was actually at Yale, and it will come back home in a way at the CCA next year in May. This big exhibition started with a very much smaller exhibition at the CCA called Out of the Box. We wanted the exhibition to represent an architect at work and an office at work. We uh, traced the work of the firm from Sterling alone at the very beginning and then through the trilogy of the three red buildings, the Leicester Engineering Building, the History Faculty Building at Cambridge and the Flory Building at uh, Oxford. Seeing those as an attempt by Sterling and Gowan and then Sterling to develop what uh, Ken Frampton called a new set of typologies for university buildings. And then we moved from there to the way in which his work shifted towards a contextual work in urban context, starting with the competition for the civic, the center of Derby, which was really the attempt to produce a background building as opposed to a foreground building. And that project led to a number of projects for invited competitions in Germany. And this is where his work shifted from England, the English context, to the German context. Projects for museums in the center of Dusseldorf, in the center of uh, Cologne, neither of which won the, uh, the competitions, but then finally the project for the Staatsgalerie in Stuttgart, which actually did win the competition. And so a masterpiece, I think, was made here, which is exhibited in the exhibition in terms of a whole series of drawings uh, of different projects, different schemes, different iterations. There are a series of sketches of the Stats Gallery that are very appealing because um, somehow they demonstrate a very intriguing capacity to articulate kind of like hardness of architecture and softness of the use. And these is, you know, conveyed on one end by this kind of diagrammatic meandering path of a kind of like imaginative visitor entering the rooms. And also what is even more interesting is that notation that is focused on the center element of the, of the project that is the internal patio that is a, has a circular shape and which is actually a path that citizens can use to overpass a slope of the hills of Stuttgart and to pass from the quarter of the city center to a higher court without actually having to enter the building. So I found it very ironic that in, uh, in Yale he was inserted into Lucan's building, the British Art Centre, a building for which he had actually wanted the commission for. So to insert him in Khan with its very strict geometrical organisation I thought was both ironic and interesting. Then of course in Britain, in London, there was the uh, exhibition in the core gallery itself uh, where Sterling was entered into Sterling. And here, uh, very interestingly, Sterling is in the old Stats Gallery, where the new Stats Gallery becomes a full-scale exhibit beside the development of his career.